The Chinook, officially designated as the Boeing CH-47 Chinook, is a heavy-lift, tandem rotor helicopter primarily used by the United States Army. It has been serving in various roles since the 1960s, and its versatility and reliability have made it a vital asset in military operations. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the demise of Chinook Helicopter 74-22292. In September 1982, the city of Mannheim had a special request for two Chinook helicopters to participate in the air show commemorating the city's 375th anniversary. The plan was to have both helicopters drop skydivers in an attempt to set a world record for the largest joined circle of free-falling skydivers. While both helicopters arrived on time, a decision was made to proceed with only one aircraft. Consequently, all 46 people, including the skydivers, boarded a single Chinook. Since the cabin had a seating capacity of only 33, 11 individuals had to stand during the flight. The helicopter took off without any issues. The air crew had planned to conduct the drop at an altitude of 13,000 feet. However, after approximately 12 minutes of climbing, reaching an estimated altitude of 8,000 to 9,000 feet, the control tower received a message from the aircraft indicating a problem and their intention to descend for landing. Around the same time, the pilot of the second aircraft who was observing from the ground noticed that aircraft 292 was initiating a descent. Intrigued, he quickly entered the cockpit of his own aircraft and established communication with aircraft 292 using the company's private frequency. He inquired if they were experiencing any difficulties, and the pilot of the aircraft mentioned a flickering caution light, the presence of an unusual noise, and their decision to initiate the descent. In a sudden decision, the air crew determined that the designated landing area was overcrowded. This realization occurred when the aircraft was approximately 600 feet above the ground. To address this issue, they halted the descent and aimed to cross the highway and land on the opposite side. However, as the crew attempted to counter the descent by applying power, a disastrous incident unfolded. Witnesses on the ground reported hearing a loud bang and described a distinct rushing or swishing noise. The helicopter experienced an in-flight breakup, with the aft rotor blades visibly separating from the main airframe. Shortly after the failure of the aft blades, the aft rotor hub, along with half of the aft pylon, detached from the main body of the helicopter. Within an instant after the separation of half of the aft pylon, the aft transmission and the remaining portion of the aft pylon began to tear away from the airframe. As the descent persisted, the helicopter gradually tilted to its right. This picture was captured approximately half a second prior to impact. The image reveals one of the multinational para-jumpers either being forcefully propelled away from the aircraft or attempted to distance himself from the chopper. 292 tragically crashed onto the highway connecting Mannheim and Heidelberg. The impact occurred on the right side of the helicopter. The collision resulted in a massive fireball engulfing the wreckage, forming a glowing mushroom cloud over the crash site. The force experienced during impact was estimated to be approximately 200 Gs. Considering an average weight of 180 pounds per person on board, the individuals would have encountered a force equivalent to 36,000 pounds. Death was undoubtedly immediate upon impact. Sadly, there were no survivors. Once the firefighting foam had been cleared away from the wreckage, what remained was a debris heap measuring approximately 15 feet in width, 20 feet in length, and reaching a height of 4 feet at its highest point. Among those aboard the ill-fated aircraft was an AFN TV reporter who had intended to broadcast the parachute jump for TV. This catastrophic chain of events unfolded due to oil jets in the forward transmission becoming clogged, causing a pinion gear assembly to fail. This threw off the synchronization of the helicopter's rotor blades. The failure of the input pinion capsule can be attributed to the presence of walnut grit that had blocked the oil journals within the transmission. Tragically, a total of 46 individuals lost their lives in the incident, which included deaths of seven U.S. troops. Among the casualties were five members of the Chinook crew, along with two AFN crew members who had been assigned to document the parachute jump. But let us know what you think in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.